Hey guys, this is Captain Caleb from Captain Caleb TV. I had the weekend to go out with Wyatt from Salt Strong. We did some videoing. We're gonna bring up some of our favorite fall tactics and lures. We wanted to start with lures. The thing that makes mag uh, fall magic is that whenever the cooler water gets here, the winds start coming in and pushing the tide out, then all the tiny bait starts coming out of the marsh and out of the grasses and, and whatnot around the bay. And it starts migrating across the bay to head out to the Gulf. So whenever we're throwing lures down here this time of year, I like something small. I like something small all like these little mirror lure little johns they do a really good job of imitating a shrimp i use these a lot in deeper water whenever i'm trying to catch trout i'll throw them on about a quarter ounce jig head and my action is a is a quick pop pop and then i'll let it sink a little bit and, and pop pop and hop it again and then i'll use it in shallow water for redfish as well if they're really tailing and they got their nose in the mud then i'm not trying to throw anything middle of the water column at the top i want it on the ground and so this again it'll lay on the bottom then when i hop it it'll give a couple of those it'll stir mud and look like a shrimp running away from them Another really good alternative if you're not comfortable with making you know a little rubber cone look like a shrimp is the actual DOA shrimp. We've done really well with these this week. You can rig them on a jig head, you can rig them weedless. There's a million ways to do it. I do it on a jig head and it's the same thing. I throw it out there and hop, 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 hop. Uh, Wyatt brought the Slam Shadies with us, caught some really good fish on it this week. It's a white paddle tail. It did really well. It held up really well and caught a bunch of fish. My personal favorite is the DOA three inch cow shad. It's very similar to the the, the design of the Slam Shady. It just, you know, what's your confidence bait? And th this is mine. This one, I don't really hop it as much whenever I'm fishing for redfish. I'll throw it out and straight retrieve it. So it's something I can use for sight casting. It's something I can use that's, that's quick and efficient. I can throw it out and, and just bring it straight back. Um, I've used it a lot for kids. I use it a lot for, you know, the less experienced people on the boat. Just throw it out, bring it straight back near a redfish and bam, they'll hit it. All right, so to wrap things up, the main profiles that we're using this time of year are small ones, three inches, three and a half inches about as big as I'm gonna go I'm gonna use the small DOAs or you can use the the little slum shady paddle tails if you're trying to imitate a crustacean then you could throw the mirror or little Johns or the DOA shrimp but the, the key is to keep it small and it's gonna go this way for, for another couple three or four or five weeks until it gets a lot colder the small bait right migrates out and then the bigger bait shows up and at that point will be time to change our lures again so I hope you guys enjoyed this tip if you'd like to see more check us out at saltstrong.com and if you're new to salt strong just know that we're the best online fishing club in America if you're trying to catch more redfish, sea trout, snook, and flounder. There's really nothing else like it and we back all of this up with our premium education, our private insider community, and discounts on the best saltwater fishing tackle that you're going to need. So we hope to see you in the Insider Club family soon and thanks again for watching.